I'm Donna Damiano. I'm the owner of Amore Desserts. I own and operate the business, so that means that I not only run the business, but I also am hands-on with the baking. So I started baking with my mom when I was really little, around, as far as I can remember, by around six years old. And I just did a lot of it. I started as a hobby when I was young. And as I started working in college, I got more cooking jobs and baking jobs, but I would always squeeze my way into the bakery. So I just, my love for baking grew more and more. And then eventually I was able to get uh, baking, you know, jobs as a professional. That love for baking just started growing more and more and I just kind of decided that eventually I wanted to do baking more than cooking. So starting a small business on my own was so much harder than I ever imagined. I ran a business with my parents, a restaurant, and I thought this is going to be so much easier because it's just desserts. But having a business in general is hard. So we got the idea of what we were going to sell at the bakery because I'm, I'm my family and I'm of Italian descent. And we just decided it would be really good to include my family recipes and grow from there. So at the bakery, we sell mostly desserts. We do have some breakfast pastries as well, such as cinnamon rolls and Danish and croissants. Uh, for our desserts, we specialize in cakes and pies, and we sell them by the slice. And we also sell whole orders um, for them. And we sell lots and lots of cookies. We make our Italian cookies by hand. So that's one of our best sellers. One of the things that's the most important too when you're selling baked goods is eye appeal. People like to buy desserts with their eyes. So the finished product has to look pretty, has to look tempting, has to look delicious, and that's what's gonna sell it before the flavor of the product. So this business has been open for 10 years now, so we made it through the tough times. There have been great times. I thrive on um, fresh, quality ingredients to start out with, and we make everything from scratch. So for the future of my business, I hope to be able to continue to serve lots of baked goods to our community and to hand this down to the next generation, which is right now my daughter and her husband, and hopefully someday her son. <laughs> I want to say that I am very lucky, I'm just one of the very lucky people that I went into a business venture, had the support of my loving family, have my family get to work with me, and it turned out to be a successful business.